Yeah, all I know is when. 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 You've had a lot of adjustments this season. You had to adjust to a new city, a new team. You had to adjust to being the number two guy. Then you had to adjust to being the number one guy again. What have you learned throughout that experience? Uh, just patience, stay the course. Yeah, it was challenging at times, it was tough. Obviously, like I said, I love competing, I love playing football, so you know, sitting on the sideline was hard for me. And it was adjustment, just changing roles from what I'd been used to in the past, but just try to stay the course, stay positive, just keep working and be ready. So sometimes life will take you down a different path than, than what you want it to be. You know, God uh, does everything for a reason, and as long as you, you know, stay faithful and, and stay the course, that I have faith that it'll work out. Why did you know that the Tennessee Titans were a good fit for you? Just kind of the way it worked out. You know, a team that I have a lot of respect for, you know, in the past, playing against them. You know, we played some tight games against the Titans in the past down in Miami. And, you know, I came in, got to know the guys, and, and immediately, you know, felt like it was a great spot. Did having that familiarity with the Titans, having seen them so many times, kind of help with the transition? I don't know. You know, I, I didn't know too many guys on the team previously, so so the transition was, was what it was. But, you know, the guys welcomed me in with open arms, and. You know, felt like uh, I fit in pretty quickly, so that definitely made it easier. You've been able to watch this team grow throughout the course of this season, and especially the offense grow over the course of this season. What has surprised you the most about the evolution of this Titans team? I don't know if I've been surprised, but I've been you know proud of the way the guys just keep fighting. Like I said, you know we've had our ups and downs throughout the season, but our guys just come to work every day and. Just keep fighting, keep working, and finding a way to win. And at the end of the day, that's what it's about. You seem to be a very calm guy, especially in the face of adversity. I've seen you on the sidelines, and nothing really seems to rattle you too much. You don't get too high or too low, always encouraging the guys around you. Where does that come from? I don't know. I've, I've been out of football a long time and, and know they're long games, and you can't really get too wound up in one play or one drive, one situation. You gotta learn from it, correct it, and then move on. You know, there's a lot of football left to play no matter what situation's left in the game. And just try to keep the guys encouraged and, and headed in the right direction that we're gonna find a way to win. So yeah, I try not to get too excited. I mean, obviously I enjoy the big plays and, and enjoy the moment, but then once it's over, then just get back to baseline and uh, get ready to go for the next drive. We're starting to get ready for late November, December football. What about that time of year is so exciting for you as a competitor? Well, it's huge. The end of the season is what it comes down to each and every year in the NFL. Finding a way to, to get into the dance, get into the playoffs, and win games late in the year. If you can do that, then you'll be playing in January. Why are you so proud to be a Tennessee Titan? Uh, I think I've had a long path to get here, and, and I'm proud of the guys in the locker room. I think that's the most important thing right now is proud of the way the guys compete. The way the guys believe in each other and just that, that trust that we have, you know, I think Coach Vrabel's a great job setting the tone every day and, and that's really important. Is Mike Vrabel's style something that you had to adjust to? Uh, I think, yeah, he definitely has a different different style than any co head coach I've been around, but I love it. You know, he holds guys accountable and enjoys his team meetings. I've, I've grown to like the way he runs things and, and the way he holds guys accountable and had some long team meetings where we're, we're really honest and puts the film up and everyone has to be accountable. And when you're able to be accountable in front of your peers, then well, there's that belief, like I said, that you're just going to keep coming together and, and gelling as a team. You guys believe in this team no matter what. Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, is there any other choice to, to go out? I mean, I feel like you'd be wasting your time if you didn't believe in the guys around you. And these games that, that we win in the fourth quarter just keep getting more and more confidence that no matter what happens, we'll find a way to win.